Hello everyone, my name is Shishmita Sarma. I am from Gantok, Sikkim. My topic is Postmortem of Polity. Even after defining the polity as a necessary evil in modern society, it refers to the art and science concerned with winning and holding control over the government. Every group, country and organization use politics to instrument various ways to organize their events, prospects, and many more. But there is a darker side of politics too, and we call it dirty politics. Dirty politics refers to the kind of politics in which moves are made for the personal interest of a person or a party. It ignores overall development of a nation and hurts the essence of the country. <clears throat> the ministers of various political parties or order to defame the opposition, spread fake news and give provocative speeches against them. This hampers with the harmony of country and also degrades the essence of politics. They pass sexist remarks and instill hate in the heart of people to watch their party win with majority of seats. <clears throat> Furthermore, the majority of politicians are corrupt. They abuse their power to advance their personal interests rather than that of country. We see the news flooded with articles like ministers and their families involving in scams and illegal practices. The power they have makes them feel invincible, which is why they get away with any crime. Before coming into power, the government makes numerous promises to the public they influence and manipulate them into thinking all their promises will be fulfilled. However, as soon as they gain power, they turn their back on the public. They work, they work for their selfish motives and keeps fooling people in every election. Out of all, this only um, the common suffers at the hands of lying and corrupt politicians. Now talking about the political efficacy. Political efficacy is the citizens' first trust and faith in the government and their beliefs. Uh, being a leader, they should focus on the main issues first. The main first issue is um, poverty. The government should look after poverty of an illiteracy rate of India and the second big issue is religion and the third big issue is caste reservation caste according to human rights right to equality they should be equally treated to everyone but in india there is no equally treated people because of caste reservation system mm -hmm. There was a time when our country India was ruled by some greatest leaders that is um, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, A. P. J. Abdul Kalam, Balabhai Patil, Jawaharlal Nehru, Mother Teresa and Indira Gandhi and so on. I wish in future we will have some more leaders like them. Thank you team loves for the great platform. Thank you.